guys. Today we are going to be drawing and painting landscapes. So I'm just going to talk a little bit and then um, we will get into some time lapse of me painting. So one of the first things I want to say is that I've decided now that we've gotten deeper into quarantine that I want to do something that's going to challenge me. So know that the picture I have chosen, which I will put up on the screen right now, is pretty complicated, but I think it would be something that I could learn a lot from. And obviously I'm a little bit more advanced of an artist than most of you guys. So know that it's okay for you to pick something a little bit simpler. Now this piece that I am going to be referencing is from a Miyazaki Studio Ghibli movie. And I highly recommend that when you are looking for landscapes that you try Google searching some of these and you'll get some really, really beautiful results. That being said, you guys get to choose to do any style or use any reference that you want to as long as it's a landscape. What is a landscape? It has the land in it or ocean or sky or a combination of all those things. <laughs> um, I would recommend for you guys to stay away from too many buildings because buildings can be really, really hard to paint. And speaking of painting, I know that everybody's all across the board when it comes to what supplies you have. So if you have acrylic paint, that's what I'm going to be using today. If you have oil paint, you're welcome to use that if you know how to. If you only have watercolor, then I understand that then you'll be using watercolor. Um, if you aren't super comfortable using paint, I highly recommend you join me in the Zoom classroom times so I can give you some tips and tricks to painting and know that this is a multi-day process. I do not expect for you to slam this out within an hour. In fact, for me, this is probably going to take quite a little while. So, um, that all being said, let's just get into it, right? Let's try not to get all cramped up with fear. And the first thing you always want to do before painting is do some drawing and know that that drawing should not be super, super complicated or overdone because then you'll be really sad when you have to put your paint on top of your drawing. Your drawing should help you place things nicely. So I'm going to be doing that. I'm probably going to time lapse now at this point. So I will talk to you later. Bye. So as you can see, I have my very simple kind of sloppy drawing laid out. And I also decided just now that I want to use um, oil paint. So I've got three different size brushes in my palette. You now notice how I like to set up my palette with black and white first across from each other and then only the colors that I really need. So I have blue, dark green, light green, yellow this kind of ochre color and red. I didn't really need much in terms of warm colors because I was looking at what I actually had in the picture I was referencing. In the middle there was a glob of what's called um, like linseed oil and it's used for oil paint so you don't have to worry too much about that. However, for those of you doing watercolor or acrylic paint, you need to make sure that you have your container or cup of plenty of water so that way you can clean your brush off and it's an important part of making the paint actually paint like and easier to work with. So, oh, and one other thing as well, you should have a little rag or paper towel for you to also wipe your brush off on as you work. So, once again, we're going to knock into some time lapse footage here and um, I just want for you to enjoy the process. Notice I don't have my fancy lights set up because um, it makes it harder for me to look at my reference image. So uh, do what works for you and I will see you after this.
So this is our final result, guys. I hope that you maybe caught a few little tips and tricks while I was working my way through the time lapse. As you can tell, you want to start with very simple shapes and colors and then slowly build up into detail and all these fine little extras later on, right? It also helps to work back to front. And of course, if you have any questions, you can talk to me on Zoom. See you guys. Bye.